decided to have a water jacket built on the outside of our mash tank so that it would help with the cooling process, um, to shorten the cooling process on the, on the mash itself, and to help us prevent um, contamination. So we sent the tank off to the welder about two weeks ago, and he, it was going to be a simple process. He was going to uh, put a second uh, stainless band around the outside that we would then be able to fill with water, cold water, run cold water in the bottom, and exit water out of the top to kind of chill this tank over the cooling period. Well, after he, after he built it, he decided that he would test it. Instead of filling it with water, the logical thing, and uh, seeing if it leaked, he put an air um, uh, pressure on it, and it absolutely collapsed the inside of our tank. We now have a tank that looks like a giant um, mushroom or something, and I'm real worried because I'm afraid that the mash is going to get hung up in these in these deep grooves. Look, my hand will just disappear in here. Um, so it's it's at, at really a miracle that the welder uh, didn't explode the whole tank and kill himself. And so uh, there's something <laughs> positive in the story. However, we now have a disaster uh, with our mash tank.